And a grieving couple is searching for answers tonight, wondering how their little dog, which they say was perfectly healthy, wound up dead. And tonight, they're explaining to ABC Action News why they are blaming a local dog resort where they boarded her. Our Alex Hobson joins us tomorrow in the newsroom with the story and what the business says really happened here. Alex? Well, Wendy, as you know, there are two sides to every story, and right now a lawsuit is in the works. The owner is telling me they don't want their dog's death to be in vain. But the necropsy clearly points to a probable heat stroke as the cause. The business is maintaining there's much more to this story. Struggling to talk through her tears, Amy Porras held Joey close. Two arms, now devoted to just one. Her other pet pug, Chloe, only lives on in photographs these days. They put their trust in this business, and the worst thing happened, their, their pet passed away. The couple's attorney sat in between the two tonight, announcing they're planning to file a lawsuit against the Royal Pets Market and Resort. According to the couple, they boarded their two dogs there in June when they went abroad on vacation. And when they returned, five-year-old Chloe was dead. They say from being left outside in the heat unattended. Claims the business completely denied when we showed up there with our camera tonight. Do you deny all of these allegations? I, I deny all of the allegations and I feel strongly that Chloe and Joey were taking care of the same as every other pet in our care. The owner of Royal Pets maintains Chloe was never left alone and could have gone inside if she wanted. They say the dog had a prior medical condition called Strider that the owners failed to reveal. They gave us these documents they obtained after she died, showing Strider in the dog's medical history. It's terrible, and it's devastating. Um, but at the same time, I'm very confident in what we do to take care of pets. But to this couple, Chloe was much more than a pet. This is the worst experience of my life. And we don't want it to happen to anybody else. The couple's attorney tells me they're planning to sue for the market value of their pet along with the damages caused from this emotional distress. Meanwhile, Hillsborough County Animal Services is investigating. Reporting live in the newsroom, Alex Thompson, ABC Action News. Alex, thank you. And we're taking action for you to help you keep your pet safe in this summertime heat. We've uncovered a major spike in the number of heat stroke cases at local Tampa Bay area clinics. In Hillsborough County alone, Animal Services reports at least one call a day in regards to a dog being left in a hot car. Vets tell us it only takes a matter of minutes of heat exposure for pets to feel the impact. So they warn you that you need to be extra cautious, especially this time of year. Make sure the pets are not left in cars, in hot cars, windows up. Um, well, those temperatures will get very high very quickly. Make sure pets have plenty of water available and shade and they're not in a yard where there's no shade, no water, and in the sun the whole time. They also tell us, know your animal. Some breeds, especially those with smushed in faces like pugs and bulldogs, are more often more susceptible to that summertime heat.